Hi, it's Megan. I wanted to do a very quick video, since who has a lot of time to watch tons of videos? I guess I do, but uh, on my favorite holiday set so far. I've done a lot of holiday reviews, and I'm going to put a link under the video to some of these individual reviews on YouTube, but I want to get through these real fast. I'll tell you what my favorites were and why they were my favorites. So, so my favorite eyeshadow palette so far is the Urban Decay Vice 2. And I like it because I think the colors are so much prettier than they look even in the pan. They're so complex and uh, unusual and flattering on me. So I just love this palette. It's, I was a huge Vice 1 fan and I am as big if not bigger a Vice 2 fan and it suits my mood. It has right now this year what I'm wearing. It has some browns that are very neutral and then it has some jewel tones which I find absolutely stunning. So this, like this color, I want to show one color. That color, oh god it's so hard sometimes to show this stuff on camera. That color looks boring but then you put it on that's actually better in real life and it's like this gray blue with a slight bit of matte it's just gorgeous it's the kind of thing i probably should have lined my eyes with it it's going to be gorgeous gorgeous on a lot of people then the next one i have a big box in front of me so it's not so easy is the sephora superstars beauty must-haves the reason i like this is because first of all i use some of these products anyway so I use the Smashbox BB Cream, which is about $42, and I also use a lot of eye creams. I like trying different um, eye creams. This one right here, Origins, is about $34 thing, so it's $75 for this. I just paid for it, and I get to try all these amazing, wonderful products together. I have the lipstick on with a little bit of lip gloss from another set in a minute. This is the NARS. I think it's the Dolce Vita. Yeah, Dolce Vita. And then I did the Better Than False Eyelashes. Uh, mascara on and it's kind of fun it's kind of a fun product does it look better than false I you have to decide for yourself but I just like the whole set of these items and I like the value of them next is another Sephora favorites and this is the glitz and glam comes in an adorable little pouch and am I wearing anything in here no I'm not wearing anything in here but this Urban Decay Space Cowboy Moon Dust Eyeshadow is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows ever. This is actually the second one I have. I have one that I use. This one's waiting until I finish the first one. I just love this shadow. It's so gorgeous. I like the Josie Marin blush a lot. The Stilla uh, All Day, All Day 10 in 1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm. I actually loved. And then I put the NARS lip gloss on over my lipstick. And that was actually my favorite product in the set. I like most of the set. So I think it's a great value. Love that. Also, when I thought, should I do like one blush, one lipstick, one this, one that, I thought, no, I should just say the ones that are my favorites. The Too Faced, a few of my favorite things. I have the blush and the bronzer on right now. I just love this set. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't like the shadows as much as in the Urban Decay, but I just think they're all usable. Very usable. Very flattering. And then I like that it's an all-in-one. So you have the blushes, you have the eyeshadows. And I love the blush and bronzer shades. I love the very light lip color. If you don't like very light lip color, you probably won't. But I like it on. I like it wears well. And I really like it better than the Sex Mascara. I actually like it better than this mascara. But um, it's one of my favorites. It really makes a difference. I won't comment on the name. Then I have two highlighters because I'm a highlighter addict. So these are my favorite things. These might not be your favorite things. Anytime someone does a review, there's got to be some bias. I try to take some bias out. So I have some, I take some out, I try to balance it and say is this a good product and then provide my opinion. This video is all my opinion. These are not necessarily the best products. They're not the most useful. They're just the stuff that I bought, that I love and I keep reaching for. So I did two highlighting highlighters. I did one, the Hourglass Candlelight, Incandescent Light, Radiant Light in the Ambient uh, Highlighter Palette. I just think these are stunning, flattering, usable, um, workable. They wear well. I love them. This 
It is a wonderful set. I might buy a backup on that one. And then I added what I'm wearing on my eyes and also the highlighter I'm wearing right now. My first Becca product ever. I like it a little bit less than the Hourglass, but it really depends what you're looking for. This is in rose gold. It's very soft, so I have to handle it carefully because my first one arrived in pieces and this one's already flaking. I just like the color. It's unusual. It's really pretty. It's not as useful as the Hourglass um, palette of different highlighters, which is why I like the other one slightly better, but I just love how unusual and pretty the color is. Definitely worth it if you like highlighters. Then my other eye, uh, the uh, MAC Stroke of Midnight Eye Shadow Palette, not the full face palette, but the eyeshadow palette in warm. My favorite eye look in a single palette that I've probably gotten this year. Like the Urban Decay and the Too Faced are bigger, but as far as like a one look, I love this. And I have two more items. As far as lips are concerned, lip, you know, the lip palettes I at first was struggling with. Um, this one was an easy one. This is a Stroke of Midnight new lip bag. And it's got a little pencil, which I think is just amazing. It's got a wonderful gloss. And then it's got a lipstick, which I liked but loved once I put the other two with it. This is probably my favorite lip look of all the holiday sets. Total. And I just adore the bag. I adore the packaging on this collection. I'm not usually that big on packaging. I mean, I like nice packaging, but it doesn't get me excited. This one does. The Hourglass also has really pretty packaging. Look at that. But it does get finger marks. The one that almost didn't make the video, but then did, because what I was saying about lips, it's really hard for any company to put together kind of a lip set that is more flattering than not on people because lip colors I think are the hardest to kind of pick across a range and have them work on individuals like eyeshadow most of us look good in certain browns or taupes or grays um, but lips not so much so so I was looking through a lot of them I was thinking well I like that but I don't like a lot of the colors I like that but some of the colors are too this and then I thought you know what I like the bite this is the bite luminous cream lipstick and it's 10 double-sided lipsticks. I'll open one of them. These are hard to open. Um, and so for $98, I guess there's only a thousand of these made. For $98, you get 10 of these. They're double-sided. Little lipsticks on each side. So one side and the other. And so each one of these is 0.14 ounce, where a regular lipstick from Bite is 0.13 ounce and it's $24. So you get 10 of these for $98. So that's about $10 each for a lipstick that would have cost you $24, but size-wise. But the reason why this almost didn't make the uh, collection of my favorites of the holiday season is because I don't like some of the colors on me quite frankly and that really is like I said earlier the problem with lip sets some colors look great on people and some colors honestly I just just don't like the reason why I decided to add it into this uh, collection of my favorite things is because I like the bite formula a lot and the colors that I do like I really really liked um, and I think it's a good value I think it's fun to play around with stuff like this because, I mean, how often do you get to try 20 lipsticks for $100? And they're good quality, they're long-lasting, and uh, so I threw it in. So this was the almost, but it made it. And I will say, if you have ideas of what else I should review, because this is only part one of my favorite of the holiday kind of sets and makeup, because the holiday isn't here yet, and there's so much stuff still coming out. I even have some stuff I haven't reviewed yet. So... There'll be a part two. If there's anything you should think I should review or have any comments, I would love to hear it. And part of the reason why the comments mean so much is I'm also doing videos for my book, Get Your Child to the Top, which is a parent-focused education book. And please subscribe on YouTube. Thanks and happy holidays.